Uh, all right. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, 1600. 1600 level. These guys are both gamers. All right, Malians Britons. Malians with the long swordsman is so tempting here, actually. I think at some point it would be pretty good. So I would I would honestly be thinking men at arms into skirms or something like that. He's probably gonna go archers. If Britons is up fast, the men at arms still probably won't do much, but the Pierce Armor does help you stick around a little bit more. So I think it's maybe with Malians still okay. Um Opponent's map's a little ugly as well to to wall. It's not too bad, but eh. You could probably get damage with men at arms. But it is a four wood line map, so you don't have to wall quite as much. Although, your wood lines in the back mean that your front is going to be more open. So, it's always a trade off. It's like, yeah, you have safe wood lines, but then that means they're not naturally walling part of your base. He doesn't have as safe wood lines, but it's kind of walling the, the map. Uh, okay. So, so far, so good. Opponent with 15 seconds idle TC. That just can't happen. You just can't be like that on this level but obviously it does happen if you end up doing another civ showcase what civ would you like to do next i don't know that's why i haven't done one uh, as 1k i got mash versus a 1700 uh we made it to gaslight hey that's a achievement armenians could <laughs> All right. What made you pick Chinese? Uh, I just felt like it. Okay. Um. So only six here. We have one. Wait. Okay. Now we're gonna take stragglers. Okay. It's fine. Rax is on time. Uh, I believe this is open. It looks like there's maybe a hole here. Maybe? Yeah. There totally is, right? You need a Palisade check, but. Um, stable. Okay, so far the build is good. The opening is very solid. Um, how's the scouting, though? Oh, you don't see anything. You know his stone is here, so, and you know his gold is here. You have to know he's here, right? Going a little bit far. Anyways, now you're just YOLOing your, your dudes. You don't even know where to send them. Um, yeah, we need scouting, though. We need to know where to send the guys. And, yeah, this... If you're going to be up on 19, honestly, I don't think you can afford a horse collar with most civs. You have cheaper buildings as Malian, so maybe you could justify it. But what's better, getting another scout here or getting horse collar? Or, like, two more scouts? Imagine you have two more scouts coming in. The opponent's not walled. You get in with like five scouts instead of three scouts, you start to win. Three scouts, you can't really fight the spear, but with five, you can fight the spears, and then you can snowball. Three scouts is kind of light pressure. Um, But of course, you would sacrifice a lot of later economy for early castle age to get skip the uh, horse collar. But I mean, you could just make... Four or five farms, Dark Age farms, and then add Horse Collar later or something. It's not bad. You're at the level where I would say skipping Horse Collar sometimes is probably okay. Opponent already made three spears, though, so it's like... You've already done the damage, so I think you probably made the right decision getting Horse Collar in this situation. But, yeah, we can't lose Vils to the starting scout, though. Okay, nice. Nice, good job. Uh, yeah. I mean, so far, so good. I think your economy is going to be pretty solid here. Opponent just walled a lot smaller, though. I, I don't really like this wall. I think just going to the mill, I don't know, maybe, maybe like, up to here. This is, it just feels a little too far. If he gets crossbowman, he's just going to kill these walls pretty fast. Um, yeah, this, a uh, map, uh, this is an ugly map to wall. I will say, but I don't think it's worth it to spend all of this villager work time to build this wall. I think you just, you have map control, you can kind of see what he's up to, and, well, I mean, did you see the stable? You didn't see the stable yet, but you will. There, you see the stable, you know he's, like, he can't really have anything, right? We're spending a bunch of res on walls when the opponent's not even doing any military, so it's pretty expensive. 
Boss of Villa to the scout. Yeah, exactly. So we're we're playing like walls, but then we also already took damage. So that's never a good combination. Opponent's gonna get up a little bit faster, which is makes sense because he didn't really make any scouts, didn't make a second building for a while, so he got his farms down earlier. And he did go horse collar too. Oh, these walls are a little bit far by him. Ah, what is this wall? He's going for another layer. He's gonna have a second second layer of walls. I can't believe it. Wait, he got what? Blue went wheel, bro. He had enough to click up. Disaster. You're gonna be up at the same time. What? You're gonna be up first. Zero percent chance that should have happened. I guess he forgot a building or something, and then he was just like, I'm just gonna queue wheelbarrow, but honestly, blue should have gone up. He should have just made one more vill or something and then gone up. Getting wheelbarrow here, okay, he's gonna have a sick economy, but he's not gonna be able to do anything. He's just playing weird, he's going longbowman. Like, okay, he's gonna go longbowman and TCs. You see he's on scouts, you, or sorry, you saw the stone, you saw he's on stone, you know exactly what he's gonna be doing now, right? So, what do you do? What do you do against, because as Britons, he can go for the, the cheap TCs, right? Does blue have two smiths? No, just one. Um, you know he's gonna go longbowman, but he didn't go longbowman? All right, well, let's keep watching. If he's just mining stone for nothing, then you're just gonna be ahead. I think you're not really gonna be able to do aggression on him though, because he's gonna have a castle, right? Nice wall. Um. Yeah, I, I, yeah, is he gonna go five TCs or something? <laughs> like, what? what is going on here? I guess he could, as the Britons. Where is his CC's gonna go? Or is he gonna just place a castle forward with no military, which should never happen? You should never allow him to get a forward um, castle when he has no military. Okay, just chase that with one, and then other units need to come forward here. We're going, like, we're just blindly going skirms. Why? You know he's got a stable, right? I guess you know that the range is coming up, but we didn't need to invest into skirms at this point, especially Bodkin Arrow. That could have invested, been invested into Double Bidax, Heavy Plow, like, could have been a lot of things. These guys needed to be fixed. Thought skirms for the pikes. Well, yeah, but he's, not, he's like not doing anything. The pikes cannot kill your knights because you just run, right? Chill on our pinks. All right, we got you for a replay after this. Um, like, you have to think, okay, this is a real-time game. So, you can't just go for units that don't do anything. Because these guys, that's like six dudes with Fletching Bodkin Arrow. That's very expensive to get these guys. What are they going to do at, right now? Basically nothing. His, this wall is like, it's not even that important to get through. But very expensive for very little. Now, yeah, it will allow you to get through, but um, can you even do anything? Like, he, he should just quick wall you out again, and then it's it's not enough. But if you invested the, that uh, those resources into Bodkin Air, or sorry, Bowsaw, could have been just more knights. Like, more knights is pretty good too, right? Siege Workshop, could have been pretty good. Um, and... Yeah, like these skirms, okay. I mean, they are kind of doing the job because your opponent is just sending his pikes a little bit too far. Oh, pretty bad miss micro here though. Well, okay, all, opponent also missed micro really bad, so that's good. Okay, can we get the scouts out? If we can get the scouts out, that'd be really good. I mean, the, the skirms need to be attacking pikes the whole time. If you're gonna go for this kind of play, you have to you have to make it worth it. And skirms, picking off pikes, you have to draw the the pike fire, or sorry, draw the the way that the pikes are moving into the skirms with the with these. And then you can kill them for free. It's kind of hard though. Okay, this is working, kind of, for now. Um, yeah, opponent's playing really weird though. He should have just had a castle already. 
So I'm not really sure what's going on. He kind of mined enough for a castle, but just didn't make it. So you're you're getting farther and further ahead in the economy because the opponent's playing really weird. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go for it on your face. So he got the pikes, so now he can counter your units, and now he's going to go forward. Makes sense. This is why we keep making units, though. This is why we keep making units. And now you see it. So now what do we do? We don't have enough for a counter tower or anything. We got to be spamming units like crazy here. But are we actually just one? Yeah, we're. Oh, we have a second. Wait, where's the second stable? Oh! If you lose the game, it's because of these four guys chilling here. If it like if this goes up, it's because of that. Oh my god, it happens. Whenever you build that second stable and you know it's behind like this, you gotta just preemptively delete. Otherwise, you forget, right? You easily stop this. So I think you... Yeah, you had enough to stop this, but your dudes are literally chilling in the back. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's all falling apart. Uh... <laughs> and now he's got a pretty good position, and he's going to go in. Oh, you're already in. No, you're fine. Wait, why did we get a low ground castle? Hello? Um... Oh, yeah, it's a, this is where you should have placed it. Okay, as long as you don't lose Vils getting this up, if you just build it from this side, then it's okay. It doesn't need to go up right away, so I would say retreat these Vils who are just going to die. No, we're going to lose Vils for no reason. All right, actually, it was just the guy on the farm that died. I was like, where's my army? Yeah, it happens to me too as well. You, I mean, you learn. You learn. It's like, this is why you need to use select all military. Then you will get all the random units in the back, right? All right, instant traps though. I think you're still okay. We need to deal with this. Oh my God. I, I guess you just never see this, right? Yeah, is your zoom like this or something? Like you just can't even see anything going on? I don't know. Anyways, dying to pikes, dying to pikes. Cam Wait, we're making camels? We don't need camels. The Monkus is good enough to, to push this back. I guess a few camels is probably fine, but like, I mean, what else can we spend the res on? Bow saw, hand cart, like there's so many things. Raided by Britain Knights, hey, why not? Stone walls. Oh, saving the gold though. You actually have way too many vills on this gold as well. You have a, a perfectly good gold here too. Actually, wood is going to be maybe an issue. I guess you have all this. Nah, it'll probably be okay. I think, um, obviously, you have no food income. So, got to fix that. But he, he went a little bit too aggressive with these castles, I would say. Um, there's no way for you to get another castle, though. He's mining your stone, too. So, anyways. Yeah, just two, three trebs. You might even consider buying another castle for this hill or something. Because you can't support your trebs against the pikes. You can't just send your trebs. I, actually, wait. If you get your trebs here, it's fine. Just delete this house, put the trebs here, and then you treb it from here. You're going to be fine. If you just click it on this and it goes here, I'm going to be really sad, though. Um. Oh, you bought the stone. Okay, so you're thinking of that. He's going to put one there. That's weird. Mm, I don't like that. I think it should have been here. This is on the low ground. He has the position now. And he's going to get Warwolf. Instant Warwolf. Oh my god. This de degenerate play. Absolute degenerate play. But yeah, putting it putting in the low ground was never going to be good, I think. Got to delete this house. It's getting in the way. Um. Yeah. He's going to have 100% accurate trebuchets. That's going to be a very big problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to kill all of them with, like, one treb. If all of your trebs were deployed, you would have killed this, too. But he's going to get the repairs off. And that's going to be really annoying. If you repair... You can repair, though. Like... Oh, man. There's still one guy not even working. Ah, disaster. The base layout is just disaster. You will repair it. 
Nice. Aw, oh, man. We have two traps not even doing anything. Uh, will you get... Oh, you're gonna get it, though. Okay, okay. No, 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 fight this. You have, like... Okay, whatever. Just, just go back, then. You have enough, kind of, to fight it, but yeah, anyways. Run! Run! Ah, <laughs> so close. You have no army, though. This is a problem. And this is what I was saying about if you open men at arms in this matchup, it makes it a little easier to get into long swordsmen and stuff. I think you're just kind of dead now, though. He took the, he took the map. He raided you a little bit. You never got your food economy going after that. And well, he just has map control with Britons. How are you gonna do anything? The only way to push this is probably well. I mean, you yeah, you could try and make some good battles, I guess. They get free damage, so that that is. Maybe okay. You just don't have the food economy to do anything that's good. So, I think that um, you probably needed to do that. Oh, we're going to go into hand cannons. Okay, I like that. But you got to get the food economy going. Okay, you have trebs. You have trebs. Get them working. That's actually a pretty bad castle from him because it's, it's going to die. That gives you some leeway here to make some more... Um, decisions because that's definitely gonna go down although wait a sec oh yeah okay you just cancel it but now he can kill your trebs if you don't cannons are good against britons well i mean not normally but against what britons has right now is pretty decent to open with a few of them uh but yeah we're probably dead I think that it was really just not realizing... These knights are still here. We still have five knights stacked. Not realizing about those knights is why your opponent was able to do this. So, um, yeah. I think that was really the main thing. And the Imperial Age, it was pretty good. But I think we did need to get a unit. You went up to five trebs. I think... Even just three or four trebs, and then just try and get the your actual unit. Um, problem was macro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eco management in general is always going to be very difficult. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at the statistics real quick here. Opponent was pretty far ahead economically in the end there, so. Yeah. Just didn't understand his play. I didn't understand his play either, but it worked out. It worked out. Because half your units just weren't in the fight. He would have just completely died when you had guys down here. If you had five more knights, the opponent is dead. His play did not make sense. But, uh, well. So what happens when half your army is just not even there? <laughs> 